Parents of Reddit, how do you feel when your kid brings back a girlfriend, boyfriend? How do you decide whether you like them or not? My daughter just started dating. She was mortified when I picked them up and asked if everything was Gucci. Next time ask if they're having a yeet time. Doesn't work in the sentence. Makes it better. I first met one of my kids partners when they both joined us on a weekend away. We had a discussion on some general subject in which he disagreed with me. He defended his position rather than defer to me. Good chap. Good dad. Too. I've done that with a few exes parents and received some not so good feedback from their pops. It might be a small town thing. But I generally didn't talk to dads much at all, moms. On the other hand, loved me. When they interact and help out the rest of the family. When my daughter didn't understand her homework and then her sister's boyfriend helped her he showed how much he actually cared. I like to think I would do this but I probably wouldn't understand the homework either. My 4 yo daughter introduced me to the 5 yo neighbor kid as a BF. She told me he's really good at running fast and he appreciates snails as much as she does. Needless to say, this is a keeper. My husband and I always like the person unless there's something terribly wrong with them. First of all, we want our kids to trust us and never to disregard our not liking a potential mate because we never like anyone. Secondly, we would never want our kids to feel like they have to choose, it's their mate, not ours. Thirdly, most young people are fairly okay. So no point in acting like no one can be good enough for our precious babies. You're so reasonable. Can you parent all of us? Please? FYI I'm sure her children think she's unreasonable and horrible. I feel excited for them. It's that wonderful time at the start of a new relationship and it's exciting to see them happy and enjoying this new experience. It's still quite new for me and them, so as a parent I'm still learning. I've been fine with all the people I've been introduced to so far. Maybe as I know that the likelihood is these relationships won't last so for me it's not an issue if I don't take to them. Time will tell once their relationships become more serious. Mum you're embarrassing me. I said, whatever you do to my daughter, I will do to you. I've been stuck giving him emotional support and validation for three years. That ducking bastard, at least you haven't had to lick his AZ hole. Edit to edit. Edit, I had a story about a great future son-in-law who impressed me with his basic decency at the age of 19. Reddit came to the astonishing conclusion that he and my daughter were having six. Good thing I posted here or I never would have figured that out. If you don't know any synonyms for six, read on. My daughter, 13, wanted me to meet her first real boyfriend. I was nice and pleasant, but I knew it wouldn't last cause he was all looks and no brains. Of course, as JR high relationships go, it was about a two month ordeal. I think all parents should try and be cordial. Unless the person feels like a serial criller or something. What flavor cordial should they try and be? My eldest is 15, and boys in high school can be gross. The way they speak to girls, and girls to boys, is just so far out of line it makes me ill. But her boyfriend is respectful to her and her family. Most importantly they're the same brand of weird. They FaceTime 19 hours a day I swear. But yesterday they had an entire conversation about penguins both using the same weird fake Russian type accent. He's her safe place and without very good cause. I'd never get in the way of that. That sounds very cute. Hopefully things continue to do well between them. It's about respect. If she treats him right. And compatibility. On the other end. Not her dad. But my girlfriend's roommate is this old grizzled marine dude. She told me that he liked me because I didn't try to get him to like. Which apparently most people do. I was just myself and acted naturally. Which he appreciated. Just be yourself and the people that will like you will like you and the people who won't won't. But always be respectful. You bought him a box of crayons. Admit it. My mother has always been accepting of everyone I've ever dated. Realistic about their faults. My family immediately welcomes them with open arms. But just warns me if they seem off for whatever reason. I think it's a decent system. This is how my mum operates. She let me make a lot of mistakes. But always told me what she saw from her perspective and her concerns. However, it always ended with, as long as you're happy, that's what matters. I agree as a parent you have to be this way or risk alienating child which leaves them with no support as they are too afraid to admit they are wrong. We have had both sides of the spectrum and can say we approach them with open arms. Funnily enough at our friends who will tell our kids if they aren't right lol. My parents both instantly liked the first super nerdy boy I brought home. He didn't even have to talk before my dad was beaming at him. It was weird tbh. I married the nerdy guy. So their instincts were good. So IDK. ETA. My first silver. Thank you kind reddit stranger fam. 
Not a parent but my parents have talked about my boyfriends. They liked most of them but my dad said there was one he specifically didn't like right away. I dated that guy for over a year before he cheated on me with his ex and left me for her. My dad said he didn't like that guy because he reminded him of his ex-wife who did the same thing to him. Some people just have good gut instincts. Well, my mother's decision is 90% based on if she's Catholic or not. Can't say I'm a fan of her method. Lol same here. Gonna be a rough one when she meets my family and mum's like nah, gonna support my girl the whole way through though. Easy decision. Edit, change pronouns to clear up possible confusion. Not a parent so I called my mum. She stated and I quote, I like all of them until they give me reason not to. Then I never tell you whether I like them or not. So I don't influence your own judgment. I cannot choose for you. Although sometimes I wish I could. Mrs. Unappreciated son. Edit, spacing. Edit 2. Yes I'm aware that my mother appreciates me as many pointed out lol. It's not her that's the concern. But I appreciate you guys sticking up for my mum. Even when it's not directed to her. Thank you guys for pointing it out. Hopefully this fixes it. Edit 3. Your asterisk. My stepdaughter's boyfriend came into my house and we were talking about computer games and he had the audacity to tell me why Red Dead 2 was better than God of War. In my house. But respect to the lad for that. He stuck to his principles and a year later still argues with me about gaming stuff. You should have started calling him boy in your best Kratos voice. Nothing asserts dominance like a good Kratos impression. Well they've all been fine so far. Except for one. It's the only time I've ever gotten mad enough to kick someone out of my home. He tried to get me to believe that he didn't know what a potato was. My mother-in-law assumed I was some sort of player when I first met her before my first date with my wife. Even told my wife that she assumed I went on lots of dates back at school. Jokes on her. I spent the entirety of my freshman year, year before I met my wife, enjoying the sweet. Sweet internet speed of my dorm room and playing the sheet out of Halo 3. Mass Effect 1 and 2. Picking up drum K dorm mates from house parties at 3am. And going on exactly zero dates. After years of getting to know my mill, she just didn't want her daughter to get into a long distance relationship. Then end up moving out of state with me if we got married and I was still there, which ended up happening. Whoops. How's the relationship now? And more importantly, did you let David stay with Cerberus? Not a mother but I'm a sister to a lovely brother. He had brought some girls in house in his teenage years. And instantly I would know if I liked them or not. The first one he brought. Was super rude with me and my parents. She would eat alone in the bedroom when we are having dinner. Force my brother to be mean to me. Etc. Few months after the relationship ended in a really bad way. After that brought some girls. Didn't talk so much with them but they were nice and sweet. Didn't last long. Less than two months. The last one he brought. When I talked to her. Just one thought came to mind. She's the one. Five or six years later. Here they are. Living together. Edit typos. My five-year-old has a boyfriend that's in her class and I honestly don't know how I feel. I've met him and he's a sweet kid. But JFC she's like his beer wench. Edit, the beer wench comment is sarcasm. Apologies if that didn't come across. When my oldest daughter introduced her first serious boyfriend. He was an awkward kind of guy. Was pretty unremarkable. But he got super animated about topics that interested him. I had a chat with him about my daughter. He got animated. They've been married for nine years. Good guy. Works hard is a staunch advocate for his wife, and I love his smile when he looks at their kids. My oldest son's first girlfriend was not an emotional investment he was willing to make. She was pretty, but that was it. I scolded him. He got defensive, almost married her, but she made the mistake of asking my son about my money. About a year later he brought home a beautiful, talented woman with an electric personality and more self-confidence than even my cocksure eldest. And I was never more proud of him than when he took the dive. Their kids are incredible great couple. My second daughter just introduced us to a college friend of hers. He seems like a decent person. He's young, but he's got a head on his shoulders and seems able to conduct himself politely. I'll need more time to figure it out. My youngest son had a high school sweetheart girlfriend that's now his college girlfriend. When I first met her she was nine. So I'm pretty enamored with her. Her parents have babysat and house sat for us. And they're all good people. My youngest daughter has introduced me to a girlfriend from her trade school recently. Pretty sure she has been dating her for a couple years. She's angry, contrary, and bitter. Under all that baggage it's hard to tell. But I'm hoping that my home can be a place where she can just let whatever angers her so much disappear for a while and I can find out who she actually is. I've asked a good friend of my daughter's if there's ever been any signs of violence. As that's my only real concern. 
but so far it seems fine on that front. My youngest has always been a bit more subdued and contemplative than my others. So I'm hoping that whatever bitterness is in her girlfriend's life doesn't hurt her. This relationship is the most concerning one to me, because my daughter is a very sensitive person, and I fear for her happy, cheerful spirit. Edit, thanks for the silver and gold. Kind stranger's smiley face.